Hey everybody, so today we're going to do the how to remove your uh, gas tube on your AR-15 um, for whether it's for maintenance or cleaning or whatever. And it's really easy to do. Um, um, we'll go through that real quick. Um, but before I do that, uh, to all my subscribers out there, um, I'm getting ready to hit 100. Uh, when I do that, I want to give away a, a shirt. And I, what I figured I'm going to do is I'm going to give out a shirt that's similar to this. It's probably going to be brown instead. Um, but it'll have rusty guns right here, and it'll be in black, and then it'll have 100 underneath of it. And I figure I'll put a uh, American flag on one sleeve. Uh, and I want to do that kind of thing when the channel hits certain milestones. I want to give away a shirt or whatever that marks that. Um, now, of course, it, should the channel get more and more subscribers, get bigger, I will give away other things along with the shirt. But you know. Um, I have a full-time job. I've got a family. I've got a mortgage. So, you know, I don't have the money or the resources to put into the channel that I'd like. Um, but, you know, hopefully later on, all of that changes. Um, but we'll just wait and see uh, what happens. Also, I want to let you know that when I do any kind of uh, a giveaway or anything, um, for example, if, if the channel gets big enough that someone would send me something to review or to sponsor a video or something like that I'm always going to ask that they give me one extra because I want to give that away to one of the subscribers of the channel um, because it's you guys that make channels uh, bigger and you know better or whatever and I, I want to show my support for you guys as much as you show, show as much as you show support for me um, I want to pay that uh, back to you guys because there's a lot of gun channels out there that don't do that. Um, they get all kinds of stuff, but they never give back. And I'm, and I'm not like that, and I don't ever want to be like that. I want to make sure that if I receive any kind of blessings or good fortune from the channel, that you guys receive them just as well as I do. Now, that being said, on to what the video is about. Taking out that gas tube. Okay, the first thing we're going to do before we go over to the get over to the workbench and, and do the rest of it is, uh, you know, make sure that it's clear, make sure there's nothing in it, which I already done on this one, um, and we're going to remove these front hand guards. Um, you can you can disassemble, you can break the gun in two pieces if you want. Um, I just find that sometimes these hand guards uh, are pretty stiff, and having a little bit of extra leverage to put this into your hip or something to get these off is usually a little easier but you know if yours come off easy then you can do it the other way it doesn't matter but to take off these type of, of guards or any kind of guards um, these are in two pieces I what I usually do is I just push down on one side of this ring right here and that'll release the tension and then just pull out and then down and it comes right off and then do the exact same thing on the other side and this one is usually the one that is stiffer for me. There. It comes right off. Well, now what we're going to remove is this tube right here. Um, and before we go to the workbench, we'll go ahead and break it down into the upper and lower. So by now you should know to push these pins out if you've watched any, any kind of cleaning videos. So that one right there, just push it in. And then this one right here, also push in from one side, pull it out from the other, break the gun down in two paces. Now we're just gonna use the upper, that's the only thing we need. So I'm gonna set the lower off to one side, and now we'll take it up to the bench and we'll show you what you need to do. Okay, so uh, removing this gas tube. Now, if you're gonna do just a, a cleaning on the gas tube, you wanna clean out the inside of the gas tube. A lot of times I do this when I am cleaning, uh, just field strip cleaning. What you'll have to do is you'll remove the bolt carrier group and you'll remove the charging handle. And then if we can see right down there, that's the end of our gas tube. Now, a lot of times I will take a spray cleaner that has one of those, uh, has one of these. One of these little straw ends that fits into it. And then I will just put that in there and I will spray that out and I will let it run out clear out of the end of the barrel. Um, that's just one way to do it as you're doing uh, 
you know, field strip cleaning or whatever. Um, just to, it's just good maintenance to do. Um, but if you want to take it out and you want to do a really thorough cleaning, you can do that as well. And before you do, what I recommend is if you think that you're going to have trouble getting this back in the proper way and lined up, you're afraid you're going to put it in backwards or something like that, just take a Sharpie and you're just going to mark right here on the top of the gas tube, okay, right where it needs to be, okay. That's something that you can do with a... Well, that sharpie is a little. That sharpie is a little small. I'm gonna use a bigger sharpie here. I should have one. There we go. You can just take a bigger sharpie, and we're just gonna mark it right on the top of the tube. Okay. And that'll help you just line it up nice and easy as you go to put it back in, and so that you make sure you just makes it easier. And the only thing that we need to remove is that little roll pin right there. That's the guy we need to remove. And we're just going to take a punch and we're just going to tap him right out, pull him out the other side. So I'm going to do that and then I'll show you how to pull the tube itself out. Okay, as you can see, we got our pin out. Right there. That's what it looks like. And, um,. So, you know, and make sure you, um, when you do this, make sure you have the right size punch to do this. Otherwise, you'll walk, otherwise you can end up making this hole bigger and bigger. And then you're going to end up having to get a different uh, roll pin to put back in there and get it back in there properly. Okay, so now to take the tube out. Uh, typically what I do is I just um, will kind of pull the tube backwards a little bit. Try to get that string out of the way. Pull it backwards a little bit and just kind of rotate it around. Once it comes out, don't pull really hard on this gas tube because you don't want to bend it, but just wiggle it and work it nice and easy until it comes all the way out. Um, and that's basically it. And now you can clean this gas tube. You can spray out the inside, um, whatever you need to do. Um, I don't recommend ever running anything uh, metal down through the gas tube because if you do, you could scratch the inside of it. And as soon as you scratch the inside of it, carbon will immediately want to collect on that spot that's been scratched. Okay? And then putting it back in is basically just everything in the opposite order. Just slide it back in like so. And we're going to line it back up. Oops. I'm trying to look at this in one hand and do this with the camera with the other. So, just like that. And typically, see if I can do this while I'm, while I'm holding the camera. You can see that. that, that that's the end of the tube right there. And we're going to go until, until we can see all the way through. And now, that is where it needs to be lined up. And if we take a look, I can see my Sharpie mark right there in the proper spot. Drive the pin back in and you're done. It's that simple. Um, so literally you're just taking off the hand guards, you're knocking out the one pin. Like I said, pull, pull back on the gas tube. So that basically you're driving it back up inside here like that. Twist it and slightly pull it off just to one side and just, like I said, don't pull real hard on it to one side. Just work it back and forth and it'll come free. But then you're not, then you're not damaging the ass tube in any way. But there you go. That simple, that easy. Um, and guys, don't forget, you know, they'll, I'll be giving that shirt away. Um, and basically how I'm going to do that is... I'm literally just going to go to my subscriber page and I'm just going to randomly pick somebody off the subscriber page to do giveaways, any of those kind of giveaways. Now, if it gets to the point where I'm giving away ammo and guns, then of course there's going to be extra um, things that you have to do as far as legality goes. But, you know, as far as the normal like milestone giveaways or just giveaways uh, 
of stuff that I get. I'm just going to do that by going to this is the subscriber page and picking picking somebody off the page. Um, so that also does mean though that if you are a subscriber, you're going to want to make sure that you have your settings set correctly so that I can see that you're a su subscriber. If not, then I'm not going to know that. So um, make sure you have your settings set properly. Um, but anyway, thanks again, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.